Hey there, space enthusiasts! Buckle up because we've got some seriously mind-blowing news from the Red Planet. Picture this. Oceans of liquid water on Mars. Yep, you heard that right. Not puddles, not little streams. Actual oceans. Just think about what that could mean for Mars exploration. We're talking about future missions, human colonization, and maybe even living on Mars like it's the next big vacation spot. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, not exactly. There's a catch, and honestly, when isn't there one? Here's the kicker. These vast reserves of liquid water aren't on the surface where you could just scoop it up. They're buried so deep inside the planet that getting to them would be like trying to dig your way to the center of the Earth, except with a lot more dust and a lot less air. So yeah, even though we're closer to figuring out how Mars may have held onto water, we're still light years away, metaphorically, from actually sipping Martian H2O. This latest discovery comes from some nifty work by the Mars InSight lander, which was hanging out on Mars from 2018 to 2022, just listening to the planet. That's right, it wasn't digging or flying around. It was using seismic data to feel the rumbles deep below the Martian surface. The data suggests there could be a whole layer of fractured rock, miles under the surface, with cracks filled with water. Imagine a sponge, except this one's made of rocks and buried about 7 to 12 miles underground. Yeah, getting to it won't be a walk in the park. Now, why does this matter? Well, aside from the fact that it's insanely cool to think about hidden oceans on Mars, it could help us solve one of the biggest mysteries about our dusty red neighbor. What happened to all of Mars's water? You see, billions of years ago, Mars was wet. Really wet. Think lakes, rivers, maybe even entire seas. But now, just frozen water here and there, with a lot of dry, cracked ground. Figuring out where all that water went is key to understanding Mars's history, and maybe even its potential future. So, did it all just float away into space? Or did some of it seep down into Mars's crust, hiding in underground reservoirs? If this new analysis holds up, it could be a bit of both. And here's where things get even cooler, or hotter, depending on your point of view. Finding underground water on Mars might not just help us understand the planet's past, it could also give us clues about whether Mars could ever support life, maybe even right now. Wait, what? Life on Mars? Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. We know that life on Earth can survive in some pretty extreme places. Ever heard of those creepy deep-sea creatures that live miles under the ocean, in pitch black with tons of water pressure crushing down on them? Yeah, life can find a way. So who's to say there isn't something? Maybe not little green men, but microscopic organisms, hanging out in Mars underground water pockets? It's wild to think about, but also kind of logical, right? And even if Mars isn't a cosmic Petri dish today, it could have been in the past. If Mars had water billions of years ago, when its climate was milder, it might have been a cozy little home for some early forms of life. And who knows? Maybe we'll find fossils or other clues buried deep in that Martian dirt, waiting to tell us the planet's secrets. But for now, we're still hunting for definitive proof. But hold on, we're not just talking about Mars here. Water isn't unique to our home planet or our next door neighbor. Nope, there's water spread all over our solar system. Let's take a little detour to talk about the moon. Yup, our good old moon has water too. It's not the kind you can jump into and swim though. The water on the moon is mostly frozen, mixed in with the lunar soil. It's concentrated in shadowy craters at the poles, where sunlight never reaches. So yeah, it's ice, but it's still there, waiting to be unlocked by future missions. But wait, we're just getting started. Ever heard of Enceladus? It's one of Saturn's moons, and let me tell you, it's got some serious surprises up its sleeve. When the Cassini spacecraft swung by, it didn't just find an icy rock floating around Saturn. No, what it found were actual geysers shooting out icy particles and water vapor into space, like full-on water fountains spraying from beneath the surface. It turns out that Enceladus has a massive ocean beneath its icy shell, and who knows what could be lurking down there in the depths. Then there's Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, and boy, do scientists love this place. 
Why? Because it might just be the best candidate for finding life beyond Earth. Europa is covered in ice, thick ice like 10 to 20 miles thick, but underneath, there's a salty ocean that's potentially 40 to 100 miles deep. That's deeper than any ocean we've got here on Earth. And some scientists think that, every now and then, water might be shooting up through cracks in the ice, sending plumes into space. Imagine that! Water erupting from a frozen moon, possibly carrying the signs of life from deep below. But if you think that's impressive, wait until you hear this. Back in 2011, astronomers found a cloud of water vapor floating out in the middle of space. This isn't just any cloud, it's the largest reservoir of water ever found, and it's just chilling out around a quasar 12 billion light years away. This cloud holds 140 trillion times the volume of all the water on Earth. Let that sink in for a second. We're talking about enough water to give every single person on Earth a whole planet's worth of water thousands of times over. And get this, this cloud has been around since the universe was just 1.6 billion years old. So yeah, water has been part of the universe's story for a long, long time. The discovery of water in so many places, whether it's buried under Mars's surface, locked in the icy moons of Saturn and Jupiter, or floating out in deep space, reminds us just how important this liquid is. It's crucial for life as we know it, and finding it out there in the cosmos could be the key to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone? So what does this mean for the future of space exploration? Well, it means that the hunt for water is more important than ever. Whether we're looking to understand the history of Mars, find life on Europa, or tap into the resources of the moon, water is at the center of it all. And hey, who knows? Maybe one day we'll be sending missions not just to Mars, but to these distant moons and even beyond, in search of the next big discovery. If you've stuck with me this far, give this video a like. It's the least you can do after learning that there's more water in space than we ever imagined, right? And if you're curious about what else is out there, hit that subscribe button for more out-of-this-world content. Oh, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we'll find life on Mars or one of Jupiter's moons? Let's talk about it. Keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay curious, stay inspired, and stay on the bright side.